We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number five. Please don't make me go. You can keep homeschooling me. I'll tell you everything I know. No more argument, okay? We've discussed this ad nauseum. What's ad nauseum? You don't know? Wow, looks like someone needs school. Tell me what three plus three is. Everyone knows it's six. Mary, can you stand up, please? Can you tell me what 57 multiplied by 135 is? OK. Who cares? 7,695. The square root is 87.7. And change. Now, what does ad nauseum mean? I listen to the wind, to the wind of my soul. I think your niece may be gifted. I am good friends with the headmaster of the Oaks Academy for Gifted Education. No, I promised my sister I'd give Mary a normal life. I think she's got to be here. I've sat upon the setting sun. Who's that lady in front of our door? That'll be your grandmother. Holy It's a MacBook, darling. What are you doing here? You are denying the girl her potential. How many seven-year-olds are doing advanced calculus? I forgot the negative sign on the exponent. Mary, why don't you say anything? Frank says I'm not supposed to correct older people. Nobody likes a smart ass. We petition the court to grant my client full custody of the child. No! No! You're going to take that girl, you're going to loan her out to some think tank where she can talk non-trivial zeros with a bunch of old Russian guys for the rest of her life. And you'd bury her under a rock. Evelyn, stop. I'm raising her how I believe Diane would have wanted. Do you need a reason we should commit treason? If anybody takes that baby away, I'll smother you in your sleep. Bring into this My sister wanted Mary to be a kid. She wanted her to have friends and to be happy. Tell us, do you have health insurance? No. Did, Did you, you spend the night in jail? Objection! And leave the valleys of What's your greatest fear? That I'll ruin Mary's life. Mary! She's bossy. I've heard that. He's a good person. You wanted me before I was smart. Number four. Y'all gonna end up unemployed riding around in this pile of junk. You're welcome to walk the 16 miles. Oh, I'll sit in the back of the bus. Like it me up. You have identification on you? NASA, sir. NASA. I had no idea they hired him. There are quite a few women working in the space program. The least I can do is give y'all an escort. Three Negro women are chasing a white police officer down the highway in 1961. That is a God-ordained miracle. In 14 days, astronauts will be here for training. And we're shooting a human into space, and it's never been done before. With the launch of the Russian spy satellite, the president is demanding an immediate response. Space test group needs a computer. Catherine's the gal for that. She can handle any numbers you put in front of her. You and I are different from each other. This is about inventing the math. Because without it, we're not going anywhere. Yes, sir. That's John Glenn. What do you guys do for NASA? Calculate your launch and landing site. How could you be ugly in these white men? This equal rights. I have the right to see fine in every color. Oh, look, look, found it. If you were a white male, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. Yes, it's an uphill battle. Get it, girl. But yes, who else is playing? I don't know if I can keep up in that room. Just make that pencil move as fast as your mind does. You've been gone for 300 hours. It felt like it to me, too. Colonel Glenn launches in a few weeks. We don't have the math figured out yet. There's no protocol for women attending. There's no protocol for a man circling the Earth either, sir. Every time we have a chance to get ahead, they move the finish line. I need to be in that room hearing what you hear. Within these walls, who makes the rules? You, sir, you are the boss. You just have to act like one, sir. We have liftoff. We all get there together, we don't get there at all. In the fight of our lives, people. My gals are ready. We can do the work. More than 50 million Americans watching. I got a warning light. Go find Catherine. Colonel Glenn. There's a real fireball outside. It's getting a little hot in here. Number three. 
Number three. The imitation game. It's a test of sorts for determining whether something is a machine or a human being. Would you like to play? All you have to do is ask me a question. What did you really do during the war? Are you paying attention? Here we are, up in our this war, we're not winning it. You will lie to your family and everyone you meet about what it is you really do. What is it that we're really doing? We're going to break an unbreakable Nazi code and win the war. Oh. I'm designing a machine that will allow us to break every German message instantly. It was impossible. Sometimes it's the very people who no one imagines anything of who do the things that no one can imagine. Could machines ever think as human beings do? Most people say no. You're not most people. I'm just a mathematician. I know a lot of spies, Alan. You've got more secrets than the best of them. This is serious. They could send you to jail. What if I don't fancy her in that way? It's illegal. I just don't know if I can pretend. We were at war with the clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Damn you and your useless machine. My machine will work. Not God, Alan. You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. So tell me, am I a machine? Am I a person? Turn that thing off! Alan! Am I a war hero? Burn everything. Am I a criminal? Sometimes it is the people who no one imagines anything of who do the things that no one Number two. John Nash was one of the most brilliant minds of his generation. Welcome to Princeton. Who among you will be the next Einstein? Find a truly original idea. And it's the only way I will ever distinguish myself. It's the only way I will ever matter. He saw the world. And where's Nash? Out there, looking for his original idea. <laughs> in ways that no one could imagine. This flies to the face of 150 years of theory. Congratulations, John. It's the achievement of a lifetime. From producer Brian Grazer and director Ron Howard. I'm wondering, Professor Nash, if I can ask you to dinner. You do eat, don't you? How big is the universe? Infinite. How do you know for sure? I don't, I just believe it. It's the same with love, I guess. The extraordinary gift. What can I do for the Department of Defense? That set him apart. You are the best natural code breaker I have ever seen. You've done your country a great service, son. Would push his mind. Get in. What is wrong with you? Beyond its limits. John, open the door. Talk to me. Tell me what happened. It didn't happen. This is not what I signed on for. I'm not leaving. Stop! <laughs> you can't reason your way out of this. Why not? Why can't I? I need to believe that something extraordinary is possible. DreamWorks Pictures, Universal Pictures, and Imagine Entertainment present... You have to help me. One man's journey to the greatest discovery of all. You all know it's real. This is real. Academy Award winner Russell Crowe, Academy Award nominee Ed Harris, and Jennifer Connelly. Perhaps it is good to have a beautiful mind, but an even greater gift is to discover a beautiful heart. A beautiful mind. Number one. On the campus of one of America's leading universities. There is a problem on the main hallway chalkboard. It took my colleagues and I more than two years to prove it. And I'm hoping that one of you might prove it by the end of the semester. The most gifted mind to ever enter its classrooms. Well, this is correct. 
who did this. Is the person who cleans its floors. Well, I just need the name of this guy who works in my building. Got this job through his PO, you can call him. PO? Parole officer. Meet Will Hunting. I've been looking over this rap sheet of yours. Assault, theft, resisting. I've spoken to the judge, and he's agreed to release you under my supervision. Really? But you have to meet with a therapist every week. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> For the first time in his life, he's about to meet his match. How many shrinks you go to before me? Five. This boy's genius is unparalleled. I need someone who can get through to him. Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Let's let the healing begin. I went on a date last week. Going out again? I don't know. This girl's like, you know, beautiful. She's smart. She's fun. She's like perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. Have you talked to him at all about his future? Give him time to figure out what he wants. This boy has that gift. Can you imagine if Einstein would have given that up just to get drunk with his buddies every night? Some people can never believe in themselves. I can't learn anything from you unless you want to talk about you. Until someone believes in them. You can do anything you want. You are bound by nothing. And you're sitting on a winning lottery ticket. I'd do anything to have what you got. And some never know how much they can have. I love you. Until they discover how much they can give. Academy Award winner Robin Williams, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Stellan Skarsgård, and Minnie Driver. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top five movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.